Good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Neelay Patel here, the owner, designer, and educator at Silver, Silk, and More. And I am back with another project using uh, the flat mesh. And today we're going to be making some earrings. Um, I particularly love these earrings. They're so quick and easy to make and have such a wonderful, like vibrant look to them just with how many colors you can use for the flat mesh. And um, to me, it just brings me to a very happy place. So um, we are just continuing on with our workshop week. So let me show you that schedule. You can so far catch all three of the other classes that we did earlier um, this week starting Monday and um, even through this afternoon, which was the eclectic bracelet, e eclectic earth bracelet. Um, so we are just stockpiling these videos over on YouTube. And so if you're catching this over on Facebook, um, please do hop on over to YouTube and do subscribe to our channel at Silver, Silk and More. And there you will find a gigantic library of Silver, Silk videos. Um, and including this beautiful design that we're going to make here shortly. So let me um, pop over to my comments here and say hi to some folks that are tuning in. We got Miss Gail Lauder. She said that she uh, wasn't able to watch the replay, so she's in a little early today. <laughs> I appreciate that, um, Gail. That's, I feel like you're always usually in the front seat of my classes anyway. Miss Teresa and Greta are joining in as well. Got, got to have my brand ambassadors there, right? Um, per usual, Joan is actually on the back end. If you guys have any questions, she will bring them to my attention or she will be um, answering them via comments for me. So that'll be awesome. And then we got Miss Maria from Myrtle Beach. Hi, Maria. Um, let's see. Oh, of course, Jennifer Miller. I cannot wait for this Friday's class. Those kits are amazing. Um, some of you have already gotten a sneak peek of my, let's see, the Great Barrier Reef um, kits, the, both of the kits, the big kit and the mini kit. Um, and I think they're both going to be such a exciting open, in my opinion. The, the materials that I was able to include in them, um, just fantastic and really, really highly creative. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to make yet, but I sure will figure it out on the spot, won't I? <laughs> but it will be just with the stuff inside of the kit and not um, not other stuff, because I feel like that's a challenge I want to take on. Um, ooh, okay, so preferred my TGV kit during the last class. Oh, do you mean that you ordered it or did you got, uh, you preferred it? <laughs> from the TGV kit. Speaking of, that's a pretty good segue because I just released today my Midsummer Market project. Um, we're going to be doing another mystery kit called Mermaid's Lagoon. And so I was able to stuff a, a little bit of extra items in this one. So it's a little bit of a higher price point than my usual kits. But um, it's between that and being a that it is very limited um, in quantity. It, it's going to be a really fun little presentation. So in all of the stuff that I make from that kit, it's it'll be projects that you can make with your own materials too. So if you just don't need another kit, um, which I, I hope that's not the case, or if you just want to use up some of your own materials, which is perfectly fine, because de-stashing and less hoarding is a good thing. <laughs> Maybe some of you might disagree, but I think there's a nice happy balance between hoarding and uh, using up some stuff. Um, I think there'll be there'll be some opportunity there that you can use up some of your own stuff too. So, and Bonnie says, yes, ordered mine. I think uh, yours might have just shipped not too long ago. And if it hasn't, it probably will here shortly. I've been getting these orders out very, very quickly um, out to post. So I want you guys to get all of your stuff as soon as possible. Hi, Sue W. over from YouTube. We got Miss Janine, or Jeanette, excuse me, says hello. Um, all right, so Susie, hello from Eastern Iowa. Wow. I love that I get to visit people from all over the U.S. and the world with these videos, too. It's just a really great way to just connect with so many different folks out there that are um, just enjoying creativity and good vibes and um, wanting to learn some new stuff. 
So let me flip over to the project and what it looks like. And many of you did grab this kit, so thank you for that. There's still several available if, um, if it does interest you down the road. I'll have them stocked in my store until we do sell out. Um, so I just, uh, I want to teach this project now. So we have got um, many items in that kit. Now I don't even know where I put it. So I'm going to go grab it real quick because <laughs> I have the example. Here we are. Ah. All right. So in this kit, which are essentially the materials I did have out on my table, but I wanted to show you what it looked like because it comes in this sort of a packaging. So when you dump it out, you will get about a foot of four different colors. We've got amethyst, lotus, um, amber, and this beautiful dark rose. I just love this palette. It's reminiscent of a sunset. Um, you could even argue that it goes into the fall season just because of that deep burgundy and amber color. Um, so I think it works well for a very evergreen bespoke like statement piece of jewelry in your, in your accessories. Um, and so that, uh, that will be important to work with. Okay. And you've got a couple of crimps. These are from Tierra cast in the silver color. They are, um, pewter in its base, in its um, core metal. And then they are usually pl plated with some sort of a color. So in this case, you got a cool, like um, bright silver tone to them. They're really soft because they are pewter based and um, very easy to work with and just forgiving on your tools and fingers. Uh, I really enjoy this shape. I can't remember off the top of my head what exactly they called it in their product catalog. Um, but I just thought it was very festive and, again, just a really cool um, complement to the different shapes that we're about to make with our flat mesh. Okay, you also get a couple of earring hooks. And then you get some wire. So this is 26 gauge, and you get about a foot of it. You really won't need a whole lot for this project, um, actually. So you'll have plenty left over, or if you end up um, having some sort of a mistake or error in your design, you can always go back and just reuse some of the part of, uh, excuse me, reuse some of the wire. <laughs> okay, I'm going to scooch that out of the way and we'll just get down to business here. Seriously guys, though, this project goes so fast. So if you have any like questions or comments or anything, like let me know. Um, Oh, and Joan just posted the materials list. Thank you, Joan. Appreciate that. Jacqueline says hi again. Hi, Jacqueline. And Barb is here. Hi, Barb. That's it. Rachel says concho crimp end. Thank you. Um, I couldn't remember that off the top of my head, but I do have some friends here that know the names of the good stuff here. So concho crimp is perfect for this. All righty. So whenever you do this and cut this up and get your materials ready, um, it just really depends on the size of the earring loop that you want to make. So I kind of chose like a mid-size. It's going to probably dangle about an inch and a half um, down from your ear, if you can kind of see. So the way that I sort of cut mine up was in about four inch lengths and maybe even a little bit more, maybe closer to four and a half, it seems. Um, that way, whenever I start to curve this, and by the time it goes into the concho crimp, and it's all wired up and stuff, um, it will it will kind of take up a little bit of that room at the top, and then you'll have that room, or that space down here for the inch and a half um, of actual earring length. So I am going to grab my little wire and I cut mine up into about, let's see, about a three inch length there. And um, what I'm going to start to do is actually string each of these 
in a specific order. So we've got our amber, we've got our dark rose, we've got purple, and then finally, we've got our lotus. So that um, is sort of a graduating color between amber, dark rose. So it's you can kind of see it's going from an orange to a, I guess, a, a pinkish tint. So that's kind of the, the story that I'm sticking with. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to string in that same exact order and try and keep my loop flat here. Okay. So whoops, very stiff there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go amber, dark rose. Let's see, I had purple, I believe. So what I do is I go from the bottom to the top. So that way it kind of all sits um, around the same spot as it's supposed to. And uh, it'll all kind of also get woven in so it stays nice and um, together. So there we go. So now it's all sort of sandwiched in the same color order that I had it in earlier. So what I'm gonna do now, and that's what I think part of the beauty of Silver Silk is, is that it, I can um, string right through things without any problems. And uh, I know that it's not going to unravel or fray as I work with it because of the way that it's knitted. The rest of this stuff, I'm just going to kind of squish together, <laughs> lack of a, a better technique here. But what's great about it is that you can just kind of wrap the top here as such. And I'm just wrapping around. If you wanted to sew through the knitted wires another time, you can kind of do that toward the end here if you want to. And I should mention um, that I have a pair of chain nose pliers on hand um, that I can use to help myself with. There we go. Okay, there we go. So I sewed it in a couple times, but I've got a little piece of wire there sticking out. So I think I need to cut it down with some cutters. And then I'm just gonna kind of squish the top there. So it might look a little messy, but as long as it's nice and secure and holding where it needs to, um, you know, you can, which is kind of, this kind of has like two sides to it. I just now realized that. So I guess it just depends on what mood you're in <laughs> to wear it. Um, you can either cut it off or I just actually just folded it up right there and it's not bothering anybody. So um, I think that works. So now what I can do is grab my conch crimp. What I'm gonna do is actually open it up just a little bit more. This will help um, to situate my, my flat mesh. So all I'm doing is sticking in my chain note, pl my chain note pliers, excuse me, uh, the tip of them, and I'm just pressing out to open up my crimp a couple millimeters. You have probably have seen me do this on my own terminators and end caps before, um, so I kind of use that same principle with the Tierra cast cord ends. And then you kind of just go ahead and shove this stuff right in there. You might take a little bit of work to get it nice and flat and um, secured within the crimp. But once you have it in there, you can grab your chain nose pliers and just give it a good squeeze. Okay, just like that. What I do is I squeeze from the top down. That kind of holds everything in place, whoops. And then I come in from the bottom side and I just squeeze it again. So that really gives me a nice secure hold to my earring. And what's Great, as I really just realized this now that you can wear it two different ways um, if you wanted to. OK, 
Okay, and I just attached my earring hook. So let me do all that again with this um, next earring. And again, another variation is if you made each of your silver silk um, flat mesh in different lengths. That way you have some sort of a very like dramatic draping of each color. And I think you might even be able to see it a little bit better um, since these are all the same size, you kind of do have to flip it to see the color. Um, and even you could see it through the mesh, but it might be kind of fun to graduate them and see you know, what happens um, from a stylistic standpoint. And since you have a foot to work with, that is kind of a lot of silver silk to, um, to mess around with. All right, so I'm going to take my little piece of wire. Again, this is 26 gauge, and it is cut into about a three-inch length as such. Okay, I am scrolling for questions just in case there were any. Um, I did see one about a cowboy hat, and I don't have it with me, sadly. It's in the other room. I might bring it out later in the week, though. You never know. It's always going to be a surprise. I have to keep you guys on your toes. All right, so let's do this again. I've got my little piece of wire. I'm going to string on my flat mesh in amber, my flat mesh in dark rose, purple, or in this case, amethyst, um, as the color is, and then my lotus color. Again, keeping everything nice and flat. What I don't want to do is to make sure that this is, um, or to have this twisted. As you can see, it kind of distorts the shape and then you just get this weird like overlap that happens. So whenever you do this, just make sure it's nice and flat and then just string it right through as such. It'll want to kind of bow on you, but that's okay. I kind of just let that happen. And then at the end, I can always kind of fluff it up and um, and get it to the shape that I, that I need it to be in. Okay, string my dark rose. Okay, and I'm going to string my amethyst. And then my lotus. All right, so whenever you do string this, I think one thing I forgot to mention is I like to go a couple nits below from where I cut it. That just allows me plenty of room to be able to wire wrap the top there. Okay, go ahead and take your short piece of wire and then start to kind of work it around silver silk there at the top. And then same thing with the other piece of wire. I just kind of go in separate directions. That way I cover everything. <clears throat> if you wanted to, um, it's not really required, I think, but if, if you want to, you can always add a little bit of uh, super glue or something um, adhesive wise uh, into the conch crimp. And um, that way you get a little bit even more security with your earring. Although I think I, I crimped it fairly hard <laughs> in my opinion. So I think I would probably have just enough strength to keep it from coming out. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. So you can see that those, um, those little petals are quite lovely and overlapping in the best way. And again, I just have uh, two different sides that are completely different. So just uh, you can kind of mix it up and wear them in both ways and you'll just get these beautiful, colorful petals. So uh, same principle here, we're going to take our conch crimp, insert our chain nose pliers, and then just open it up ever so slightly. A couple millimeters makes such a huge difference. Okay, S insert your knitted wire into the conch crimp and then come up from the top and just give it a good squeeze. And then you can always adjust if you need to, in this case I did and then come from the bottom and crimp it again. Okay, that should be a pretty good hold. 
And then you can fluff up your knitted wire accordingly to get it kind of staggered. I like to show off the colors a little bit, so I'll kind of keep messing with it until it gets to be um, nice and round and it's all nicely held together too. So this side looks a little flat. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of lift up and you can see um, that shape kind of just starts to make, make that nice little round petal. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just gonna attach my earring hook there. And I think I kind of like the two different colors on my earrings. Although again, if you wanted to really be matchy about it, <laughs> you can always flip it over and uh, you know adjust the petals accordingly if you really wanted to have it match. So let me just show you. Okay, there we go. So that would be the earrings on one side. And then if you flip them over another day, that would be the other. Very easy and um, just a really fun way to use flat mesh. So that, um, that kind of concludes my tutorial, which I feel like we spent hardly any time, um, which I, but I love those sort of projects is where it's instant gratification and um, you get to learn a new technique and make something super fast and easy. Aren't those just stunning though? I love them. And I think those Tierra cast cord ends really do add so much flair to this design. Those little um, extra, I guess, design elements complement the texture of the knitted wire. So that just works out perfectly. All right. Ah, Maria says, thanks, Neela. Always appreciated. Um, and thank you guys. And uh, again, for those of you who did grab the kit and are making these, um, I can't wait to see them, first of all. And second, um, I do appreciate you guys supporting the store. It's very, very kind of you. And um, yeah, that's that's about it. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, Sherry says, whoops. Uh, well, Barb says, very pretty. Love those colors. Sherry uh, is saying, simply beautiful. Thank you, guys. Um, Emily is saying a nice way to use the end pieces from Silver Silk We Buy. Yes, including the um, grab bags that you guys always seem to swipe up within minutes of getting the text message. Which, speaking of, if you haven't signed up for my texting yet, um, you can actually text this number. They're scrolling at the bottom and become part of my text group. So. Joan and I use it to help you guys uh, remember when the tutorials are. And then sometimes I just send you guys fun little messages time to time, let you know when there's a sale or those grab bags when they're back. So you'll want to definitely sign up for our text notifications. Definitely not a robot talking to you. It's one of us humans. Um, you just don't know what when you're going to get who. <laughs> That's part of the surprise though, right? Aw, Stephanie. Uh, says, so pretty and fun. Thank you. <laughs> Vicky says, how to get loopy in a short time. We did get loopy a little bit. Um, and I feel like it brings me to a very happy place. That's all I got to say. I do enjoy feeling loopy. And I got loopy today. I just wish I had my cowboy hat, though, because that kind of, I, I left it in the other room and didn't even think about it. But that's okay. We'll have more shenanigans this whole week. <laughs> um, raise of hands, you guys. How many of you are attending tomorrow's workshops? Because we've got Wednesday, which is our crescent moon necklace. Really looking forward to this one. Um, and then I'm going to spend the evening with my buddy Jules from, uh, from Jewel Loom. And we're going to do some Silver Silk Loom demo tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. And uh, we'll just rock on the rest of this week. Uh, I can't believe we're already four projects in, though. I'm excited about tomorrow's project, too. It's another one of those quick um, but fun projects that that's easy to put together for you guys. And it, it'll involve lots of fun techniques as well, because I'm into the whole mixed media thing, and it's a great compliment to Silver Silk, too. So it'll be good. Uh, Lisa says she's in. <laughs> Bonnie says, can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. I think it'll be 
Super fabulous. Ah, oh, Susie says that necklace looks fabu. Of course, Susie. Um, try and bring you guys some fun styles. Stephanie says she'll watch the replay again, but that's perfectly okay. Um, that's what they're, that's what my YouTube library is about. And uh, again, if you haven't checked out the YouTube at all, um, please go on there and find Silver Silk and more. And I've got a giant library of videos to, and tutorials now that um, I've sort of just been adding on over uh, time. And it's been great to use that as a resource to help teach you guys how to use the different lines and styles of Silver Silk. So um, just subscribe to the channel is all I can say. And also my Instagram. Um, which I'm trying to grow and uh, cultivate. And um, I'm putting, trying to put more reels and uh, demos and stuff on there too. So it's also a fun place to be. Good, good inspiration library. I, I always say it's a, it's a good place to find inspiration for sure. If you're wanting some more ideas on Silver Silk. So um, I will... I guess let you guys get on with the evening and tomorrow we've got a pretty fun day ahead so again you'll just get a you'll get a kit um or if you haven't already you can grab the kit from silversilkonline.com you'll want to probably check out the clearance section while it's still there <laughs> um i'm down to the single digits and some of the stuff that i had uh because you guys have been swiping up all the things um lost my train of thought because I was just thinking, wow, it was quite a, quite a sale indeed. But uh, I've also got the TGBE. I'm reading some of these comments <laughs> that Joan's posting. Tonight's kit. Want tonight's kit. <laughs> we got, we got this, Joan. It's all good. Um, Joan's posting links for, for the kits up there. So I appreciate that so much. Oh, Susie is asking if I'm on TikTok yet. No, I'm actually already bad at social media -ing. I can barely keep up with YouTube and Instagram. Um, a lot of us great beat extravaganza folks were talking about Pinterest the other day, and I was just like, uh, I can't do everything. Um, but I don't know. One maybe one day, but I think right now I'm just not gonna do the not gonna do the TikTok. So you'll have to you'll have to just find me on the YouTube. Joan says, we want to see Neela dance on TikTok. That's probably not going to happen. <laughs> I'm a terrible dancer. <laughs> yes, Teresa, I'm, I'm bad at social media-ing. <laughs> not, uh, it's definitely a, it's my term. It's my Neela term, um, which involves all, all forms of social media and trying to do stuff on it. <laughs> All right. Lisa says she got her kits, so we're all good there. Um, all right. Well, again, um, the clearance sale is going on. The Great Beat Extravaganza kit is in the design kit section. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything at this point. I'm going to bring in Joan just for fun, though, because it's the evening. <laughs> Are you ready, Joan? <laughs> she's she's getting ready. Okay. Yes. We're ready now. Um, that view is not that great. <laughs> there we go. I'll take off the graphics. <laughs> Just so, my chest when you do that. Oh, no, you look great. Uh, <laughs> you should show them your earrings, though. Oh, my earrings. Yeah. Yes. In fact, this is a Tierra cast. Wait, where am I? Tierra cast component <gasps> glued to the silver silk in cap. Oh, oh Neely, I got that idea from you several years ago. Oh, wait, where you glued it on? I remember that. I remember yeah. that. Yes. I just, yeah, that. I just used a different. Yeah, I love that. That's such a, that's such a fun little component that you made. And looks like, is that an enameled um, little bead on it? Yeah, actually, it's a Jesse James bead. But oh, wow. An enameled one. Oh, that's so cool. That's super cute. Can I show you my Silky's necklace? Yes, please. Okay, I'm swinging it <laughs> You have to get it on the camera. There you go. <laughs> Ooh. That's an honor for all my Silky friends. Yes. It didn't flip around backwards. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So if you're looking, if you got the charms, which I've been putting those charms in a lot of the kits, um, this is an excellent use of it. 
I need to make some earrings out of it too. Now that I think about it, because I keep I package them as a set, intending on making earrings at some point, and I still haven't yet. So I need to add that to my list of things to tutorial. <laughs> Actually, I meant to do my originals as earrings, too, and it, one found its way to that necklace, the other bracelet. I've gotten two more, but I haven't done anything with them yet. Awesome. <laughs> well, um, I think we can call it an evening, and uh, we'll just, I'll do my vocal rehearsal for tomorrow <laughs> and get ready for, for our next class. <laughs> You're going to wet your throat, I bet, afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> all right well we'll say goodbye to everyone and we'll teach them over on the silkies group and uh we'll just have some more fun there <laughs> i'll see you guys tomorrow i'll see you guys tomorrow as well good night i love all of you so much and i will continue to get those orders shipped as quickly as i can and get that stuff over to you guys so Stay inspired and stay creative and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>